Welcome to Viewer 2.i. Let's begin by having the clinician log in with their unique username and password. Upon login, the inbox is displayed with all the new reports for the clinician that is logged in, and shown in bolded font. This works just like most email programs, and is both intuitive and easy to use. To view a report, simply click on the accession number, and a PDF is displayed. Let's make the file a little bigger, and scroll down to view the complete report. This is a sample report, which includes images, organ maps, and has the ability to attach third-party reports, such as those from a reference lab. Going back to the inbox, we see that the font for this case is no longer bolded, indicating that it has already been viewed or downloaded. To view multiple reports, the user can either check the boxes to the left of the reports, or simply drag the mouse over those reports that they want to access. Once these reports have been selected, click the View Selected tab. WebPathLab will then string them together so that they can be viewed all in one file. If we scroll down the file, we can see all the selected reports. These reports can now be printed in one operation by clicking the print icon at the top of the window. The user can also save the reports by clicking the save icon, which saves all the reports into a single PDF file. We can also save the reports as individual PDF files. Let's select the same five files, but this time click on the download selected tab. The viewer shows each of the selected files as individual PDFs. To download them, click on the Download All button. In this example, we do not want to download these files, so we click No on the Warning Message window. By right-clicking on the mouse, selected files can be downloaded individually to a selected user folder. To keep a well-managed inbox, the user can click the Select Red tab, and all the already viewed files are selected. They can be moved to the Archive folder by clicking on the Send to Archive tab. The inbox now shows only unopened reports. To go to the Archive folder, click on the Archives tab. Every report generated for this clinician is accessible in this folder. If we scroll to the bottom of the page, we see that in this sample there are 56 reports in three pages. As we move to the left of the screen, we can change the number of files displayed per page, and we can also jump to a specific page. Let's scroll back to the top and sort the files by clicking on one of the headers, in this case, the patient's last name. With the first click, the system sorts the files in an alphanumeric ascending order. A second click sorts them in descending order. And a third click returns the files to the default sorting, which is by the date reported. In this sample, we notice that Dr. Bear works at different facilities. We can group all his cases by facility by simply dragging the facility header to the light blue bar. The first facility has a total of seven cases. And as we scroll down, we can quickly see the totals and the reports for each facility. You can further manage the data by sorting the reports by last name for each group facility. To remove the grouping, simply drag the Facility button out of the grouping bar. Viewer 2.i also allows the users to search by a string. In this case, three letters of the last name are entered. They can be used to search in a variety of ways. We will select the Contains option. In this sample, only one patient is found with the last name of Lincoln, which contains the letters that we typed earlier in the search bar. We can also search the complete database, both the inbox and the archive boxes. In this instance, we are searching for a case with the date of service between December 1st and December 31st, 2010. The system finds three reports within this time frame, which can now be viewed.
Each clinician also has the ability to manage their own password, updating it at regular intervals to stay HIPAA compliant. This concludes our demo for Viewer 2.i.